me look at the camera, ready? Good morning from Croatia. Doc and Stuffin. Doc McStuffin, yeah. Doc and Stuffin, so we have a really green little player. Okay. Dino Soy Rides. Dinosaur Rides, okay. Doesn't make any sense. Thanks, though. Yeah. Alright, one more time. <laughs> okay, we go to Batch Vita Beach. Batch Vita Beach. Batch Vita. Batch Vita. Okay. Batch Vita. Batch Vita Beach. Batch Vita. I think it's um, the way people treat the beach, more or less. So. Really great for the kids. Vita. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? What am I even saying? No, no. Swimming in the ocean. You're swimming in the ocean, yeah. Yeah. It's the sea, it's not the ocean. People will get mad at you if you say the ocean. It's the sea. He's eating oh, yeah. his diaper, he's eating his diaper, he's eating his diaper. Hey. Baby's eating his diaper, so hold on. From Croatia. Today is our last day here in Split. We had a really good time. We did a lot of fun things. Uh, if you check out some of our previous YouTube videos, you'll see that we took a few day trips. We did do Kirka Waterfalls. We did Tro Gear. We did the Salona Ruins. Um, those were amazing. In this video, we're going to tell you a few of our favorite things to do in and around Split without a car. Um, our favorite things to do with the kids. There are a lot of things here to do that we didn't do because of the kids. We didn't do a lot of boat rides. We didn't go to a lot of the islands. Um, we did a lot of things that we knew the kids would enjoy. So here are five things that we did with the kids here that you are guaranteed to love if you're coming here as a family. One of our favorite things to do here is to go to Batchvica Beach. Um, it's a fantastic beach, great for kids. Um, a very the long, day. shallow area. Um, so you can go 20 feet in um, and still basically just be up to the ankles uh, or calf. Um, and it's only a 15 minute walk from the old town. It's right past the port where all the cruise ships are. Uh, it's really great for the kids. Um, I think it's actually the only sandy beach that we've been to so far. And when we checked into our Airbnb, if you saw our previous video, um, the host actually left us a little sand toy kit for Isla, a little Minnie Mouse sand toys with a bucket and a shovel. She had a great time digging in the sand, making sand castles, playing with some other kids. Um, it was really shallow, really far out, so you can go pretty far and still be only about to your knees. Um, so even the baby had a good time. He was crawling in the sand. He was standing up in the water a little bit. Um, there was little waves, just like little baby waves coming through. Um, so they had a really good time. We went there a bunch of times. We've been here three weeks. So we spent a lot of days at the beach. It's been really hot. Um, the only downside of the beach is that if you're looking for loungers and umbrellas to rent, there are none. So there are no loungers to rent, no umbrellas. So you have to bring your own. There's very minimal shade. Um, we did have to walk up past the stand, up some stairs, and up into the grassy area um, to find some spots under the trees um, just to put our stuff and lay out of the sun.
to make it all better, there's a, a really nice playground behind the beach. Um, so after we were done swimming, we were able to take Isla there to play, uh, kind of run off some of that energy before heading back. Yeah, she had a really great time. It's literally just right behind the beach. There's a nice little playground. It's all fenced in with a gate so the kids can't run into the street. Um, we went there every time we went to the beach. Isla had a great time. She made a lot of friends. We even met a little Croatian girl named Ellie. Um, I think her name was Ellie. Yeah, I think her, her name, name was Ellie. Ellie. That was Ellie. <laughs> and, um, and she even spoke English. So um, she was four. Isla's almost three. So about the same age. They had a really good time. We went there two days in a row, actually. And she was there again. So they got to play again at the playground. Um, it was <laughs> really cute. It was really cute. But um, Isla couldn't remember her name. She called her every name but her own, which was really funny. She was, she was running around calling her sister, calling her Tina, Raya. I don't even know where she made up these names, but she's made quite a few friends at that playground. It's mostly locals. Um, we saw very few tourists there. Um, we did see some, some people from France. Germany. Germany, but uh, mostly it was um, Croatian kids that don't speak English. Um, but I mean, kids play, they don't really need to even talk to play, so it was really nice. The next uh, place that we like to go to here is Margin Hill. Um, it's quite a bit of a hike up. And they said it was gonna be a 10 minute uh, going up the stairs and that was no joke. I knew that going up there was not stroller friendly. I did read online that there's a separate path like that cars go up um, that we could have went up with the stroller but it would have taken a long time. And when we walked down there, we didn't really look at the Google Maps to see where the car entrance was and we did have the stroller. So. I, I saw something online saying that like once you get up to the top with the stroller like it's fine it's flat whatever so I was like okay we'll just carry the stroller up and I'll walk her up you hold her hand um, it was a lot of stairs it, I don't even know 15 20 minutes walking upstairs with carrying the stroller the baby strapped to my chest I'm holding her hand he has the stroller the bag all the stuff I mean it's a good workout we definitely got our workout in that day when you're up there there's some hiking trails there's some viewpoints there's a zoo, um, and it's really cheap, and if you have the split card, which is free by the way if you're staying at least five nights in split, um, and it gives you a whole bunch of benefits, I think we talked about it in a previous video, um, but if you have the split card, the zoo is free. Um, we did not go to the zoo though, because we read online that it's really not a good zoo um, to support. I didn't see it for myself, I'm just going off what I saw online but I heard that the animals are not well kept, they're not well taken care of, there's not a large variety anyways of animals. It's more like a petting zoo. 
um, but a lot of people online were saying it's really sad for the animals the way that they're kept and um, we don't want to support anything like that where the animals are not being taken care of. There's also, we were surprised when we got up there, there was a playground, of course. And there was a bunch of kids from a, a camp or something that were up there. And of course, Isla wanted to get out of the stroller and play with them. So we let her run around. She played with some kids. She had a really good time, let off some energy. Um, and it was stroller friendly when we got to the top. It was. It's just getting up those stairs was terrible. Yeah, when we went back down, we went the, the road yeah, path. We it was a lot easier with the stroller and the kids. kids. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely if you're here, check out Margin Hill. Really nice to just walk around, be in nature. There's a playground up there for the kids. There's some beaches around it if you're into that. If you want to make your way over there, get a taxi or walk if you have the time. Um, from our Airbnb, it would have been at least an hour walk to one of those beaches. Um, but if you're staying closer to the center, it's a closer walk for you. So, I mean, if you want to do it, then do it. And let me know how it goes, because kind of sad we didn't go, but it's all right. we did while we were in Split is exploring the old town. Um, we didn't do it to the extent that most tourists do. Uh, we walked around Diocletian's Palace. We saw all the sites from the outside but we did not enter anything. Nothing is stroller friendly and it was really hot and it was really really crowded. It's been so crowded here with tourists. Um, so even to just get into like the buildings would have been a long wait and a lot of people and having the kids strapped to our back or holding their hands, it's just, it didn't sound fun. Um, didn't sound fun for the kids. So we decided to skip it. Even though if you have the split card, you get discounted entrance to all the substructures in Diocletian's Palace. Um, we did skip it, but seeing the stuff from the outside was really amazing. Seeing the streets and the architecture was really beautiful. We had some really good brick. Uh, we had some really good chivapi sandwiches, the best chivapi sandwiches that we have had in Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro, out of all the Balkans. Um, oh my gosh, the place is called Cantun Paulina. So good, so fresh, but it is cash only. So it is cash only. Uh, don't come here without cash if you want to try it out.
fourth thing that we did with the kids um, that I really like. The baby doesn't really enjoy much. He doesn't even walk yet. So a lot of the stuff when I say our favorite things to do with the kids is our favorite things to do with Isla because she's the one that's having the fun. The baby's just along for the ride. So <laughs> the fourth thing was the Museum of Illusions, which we got a 20% discount with our split car. I didn't expect much, but Isla had a really great time. She didn't understand all the illusions, but she had a great time running around and trying stuff out. There was a mirror room. There was her, her favorite thing. What was it? The the spinning thing? Yeah. It was basically just like this like tunnel and the lights move and it was just sort of like a metal pathway that you could walk across. Yeah. And it just kind of sets you off balance as you're walking through. <laughs> it's so trippy. It's very, very trippy. And her favorite thing was running through that. And over and over and over and over. <laughs> she had a great time. It's a good way to get out of the heat for a little bit. Um, we just spent, we spent like at least an hour there, I think, and she could have stayed there a lot longer. Trip. It was uh, 9.30 all the way until about 4.30, um, two islands stop, um, and they even stop um, in the middle of the water so you can jump off the boat, and that was a big highlight of the trip there. Um, yeah, we were worried about doing boat trips with the kids, um, just because being on a boat for a whole day with restless kids doesn't sound like fun. She just wants to run around. She wants to run around, she wants to play, she doesn't want to sit on a boat, um, and then I was worried about the swimming stop because most of the boat trips we've seen stop for a swim not on the shore it's like kind of in a bay or like out in like the, the open ocean kind of and you climb down a ladder or people just jump right off the boat into the water um, and she doesn't know how to swim and I'm not the best swimmer and then there's the baby so then I was worried that like what would we do just sit on the boat and it would be a waste of time but we had a really great time we brought her floaty they had pool noodles they had paddle boards they had water toys they had stuff like that um, which is one of the reasons why we chose them. We decided that we were gonna go walk down to the port one day. We walked down the Riva Promenade, walked down the port. And we jump in the boat! Jump off the boat, off yeah. The yeah. And there were, um, and there's stands all along the promenade for different boat tours. We kind of walked down, we looked at them all, saw like the hours, saw the things that were included, saw the prices, and you know, trying to figure out what's best for the kids because there's so many boat trips that you can take from Split. There's so many islands. There's tons of islands off the coast of Croatia. And we didn't want to leave here without doing at least in one island. We wanted to do something. Um, but it's just so hard for the kids to decide on something that's going to be fun for them, that's not going to be miserable for us, trying to keep them entertained. Um, so we just walked up and down and looked at them and tried to decide, like, what can we do with them? And some boat tours actually don't allow kids. Um, under a certain age so that was also a challenge I looked online and some of them are saying you know not suitable for kids under three or not suitable for kids under eight or um, and a lot of these cruises are like you know alcohol and you know booze cruises and stuff like that so we can't do any of that obviously um, not that we would want to kind of past that age so we kept walking and then as we kept walking there was um, this pirate ship looked like a pirate ship Isla was like pirate ship pointed right at it and there was a lady with like flyers and she was standing outside the boat talking to people. So um, she started talking to us and normally we just keep walking when people try to hand us pamphlets and stuff. But we stopped and I listened to her and I was like, is this good for kids? I was like, these are the kids I have. Like they're little, you know, wh what does this include? Like do other kids come on this boat? You know, what, what does this entail? And she explained the whole trip. They have water toys, they have food, it's all inclusive, they include breakfast, they include lunch, they include drinks, soft drinks, alcohol, 
um, all this stuff. They do two islands. They do a swimming stop. Then they stop on an island to go explore a village. Um, and it was a cute little pirate ship. And that's fun for the kids. So we went back. We talked about it. We decided to book it. And it was a really great time. Did you like the boat? Yeah. Yeah. She had so much fun on the boat. She was such a good girl. She was well behaved. They had delicious croissants and coffee for breakfast. There was cappuccino that was delicious. We had iced coffee. Ryan had some beers, some soda, some water, juice, everything included. Food was really good. Yeah, uh, we ended good. up getting you. So you have your options of either getting uh, chicken or tuna or a vegetarian option, and we just picked three chicken meals. Um, it was delicious. Came with some potatoes, uh, some vegetables. Um, and a side salad, salad yeah. uh, with some oil and vinegar and bread. And bread. Um, it was all really delicious. And for all of this, ninety dollars per person. The kids were free, so for one hundred and eighty dollars, all inclusive of food and drinks, um, and, and fun the on the boat, yeah. going to two islands. Um, couldn't ask for much more. Uh, the kids definitely enjoyed it. Yeah. More Vila enjoyed yeah, it. Uh, <laughs> the baby jump, kind of slept. Jumping off the boat. <laughs> Um, yeah, we stopped. We stopped at um, Brock, Brock or Broch Island. That was the first stop. It was like a little bay. Um, they set it up. We were there for two hours to do open swim. They had the beach toys, the paddle boards. Ryan got to jump off the deck into the the ocean, which he really loved. And then twice, uh, <laughs> twice, yeah. And then Isla went down the little stairs with her floaty and went in with him. And then I got to go in with Isla after, and we swam a little bit. We even went all the way to the shore. Um, kind of stood on the rocks there and looked out at the boat and we didn't take the baby in um, I did bring his float but I didn't feel like blowing it up and I mean he was he was sleeping he that was his nap time so uh, and then we got back on the boat and we went sailing a little bit more um, to the next island of Sholta and once we docked there um, that's when we had the lunch and then got off and took a swim in the local beach walked around the cute little village um, and then we got back on and then head back. Uh, Isla was so tired after all that swimming and all that fun that she fell asleep in the little village before we headed back and we just plopped her, put two chairs together and plopped her right in the middle and let her sleep on the boat all the way back. <laughs>